Hey guys. I haven't been on in a minute because I've been busy doing what I do, which is uh, insurance. And uh, you know how you get so busy to other things take a back seat to something that you love, right? And I was just thinking that I love to come on and talk to you guys, but I have to make time to do that. Uh, Cause when I get home, it's like I'm so exhausted. And then I had a little bit of an episode because I have not been feeling well in my stomach. Um, and I saw a lady who I'm familiar with, and she was talking about um, how she had discovered she had a chronic illness, and how nobody uh, that she had previously gone to had picked it up. And I was gonna try and work my way through this little pain that was going on in my stomach. And I, of all people, should know better because of the uh, the episode I had years ago uh, when I almost passed away because of ignoring uh, symptoms that were going on with my heart. Uh, you know, shortness of wind, just, there's just different things. So I guess my message to you guys today is to, you know, try and relieve yourself of stress and anything that can cause you to take on unnecessary pain in your body, any kind of unnecessary stress in your body. And because uh, before you know it, you, you're perfectly healthy. And the next thing you know, something crazy is going on with your body. And we tend to ignore that. Uh, when I say we, I mean me as a... Uh, a black female, we always pushing our way through stuff. And I know that, you know, in order to achieve the goals that we need to achieve, sometimes you do have to push your way through. But when something serious is going on, don't push your way through it. Listen to what your body is saying and go get yourself checked. Uh, you can do the visit one or two ways. I went to urgent care. Because I didn't want to go to the emergency room. And God knows it takes forever to get into your primary care doctor these days. Uh, plus, I don't remember who my primary care doctor's name is. Because I never went to him before. Because I'm like, I'm not going until I'm sick. And that's not a good <laughs> that's not a good idea. We should at least have one physical per a year. And I haven't seen my cardiologist at all this year. Uh, but my point is that we should get regular checkups. You know, I took care of my teeth. I made sure I had my uh, eyes taken care of. But if all the rest of it is, is in peril, then what do you do? Well, one thing you do is you start to look at the whole situation differently um, and make adjustments accordingly. I don't understand. For me, I don't know why the doctor and I for me, the doctor is an issue. Just go to the doctor. Just go get a checkup. And then how about start doing some holistic things for your body? I don't like taking medicine, but if I change the way I eat, it'll help my body. If I stop drinking sodas, and I had stopped drinking sodas before, but for some reason, it looked like you get an attack of uh, the soda fizz or something. That's what I'm going to call it, the soda fizz. And you end up going and drinking the sodas again. Well, I end up going drinking sodas and juice. I remember when I was a kid <laughs> and we would have, uh, mom would make groceries and then we would have juice and our uh, sodas and we couldn't get them. And I would say, when, well, when I grow up, my house going to always have juice in it, <laughs> which is so silly. But my house did always have juice in it. I'm sure my kids today probably say, yeah, we had juice and sandwich meat and, uh, and bread we could always make a sandwich we were never gonna not have a sandwich and some eggs you know uh but uh they probably say something like when when i get my house i'm not gonna ever do what my mama did because we always think we could do it better sometimes you just gotta follow the wisdom of the old folks and realize that you're doing yourself a disservice and then as you get older you don't move around as much as before i used to look like i worked out because i would be standing up like 16 hours a day i would work two jobs and then have my kids to take care of but my point is even then when i felt bad i wouldn't go to the doctor 
tell one time I just didn't have a, I didn't have a choice. I had to go cause I had strip throat and I could not get well without going to the doctor. Okay. So anyway, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. And I wanted to say that at least I feel better today. They gave me some medicine that, um, it, it really does have me feeling better. And my stomach isn't doing the, it was doing like shock waves before anybody who's had a child. This is the best way that I can explain it to you. The pain that whilst I was feeling in my stomach, it was like many contractions. <laughs> and if you or anybody who have had a, a bad uh, bout with diarrhea, is that it was that kind of pain. And I couldn't understand where it was coming from. And it would roll around to my back and um, they couldn't find it. And they said gallbladder looked good and everything. So the term they came up with is gastritis. Um, so that's just inflammation of my intestines. And I'm one of those people. As soon as I hurt a little bit, I'll take a asp or take a uh, ibuprofen or something like that. Well, guess what? It kills the lining of your stomach. Stop doing it. So now I woke up this morning, had a headache. I just pressed my way through the headache. I said, nope, because it might be my body trying to ask for something it normally gets. And as soon as I ache, I can have a hangnail. Oh, I need time off. But it really is a mind over matter thing where you, where your body comes. And now, just this morning, I prayed, I listened to worship music, and my whole body and attitude just felt better. I didn't have a bad attitude anyway. I just felt better. So I just wanted to drop in and talk to y'all for a few minutes because I have not in a while. And I really miss you guys. I didn't give you a scripture today, but I was just thinking. So I, uh, when I make a new video, don't you worry. I'll have a word for you. That's one thing you won't ever have to be concerned about. Because all this is, is I was just thinking. And I wanted you guys to know, to listen to your body. Because I'm really talking to me first. Because every time I tell you something, I'm being hard-headed and not doing the same thing. And not doing what I need to do. My family get on me all the time. So, I was just thinking. So, y'all, happy Thanksgiving. Next week, Thanksgiving is here. And then it's going to be 22 before you know it. My God, cherish every day that you have in this life. Because before you know it, it could be over. It could be over in a blink of an eye. Okay. I love y'all. Have a fantastic day. Okay. Bye-bye.